What's good with everyone? This is your boy DJ's Raw Uncut Truth. Give you that raw content that you deservedly need. And I wanted to pose this question for everyone that's listening. And that is, do you believe the Pelicans will find a way to draft LaMelo Ball? Here's my opinion. I would love for LaMelo and Lonzo to team up and to play together. They have a lot of chemistry. But here's the thing. The Pelicans love Drew Holiday. And even though Drew is, what, 30, 31 years old, they want to keep him for the long haul. They have an emotional attach with Drew Holiday. Now, Drew Holiday is a great defender, very underrated as a player, and he's at his best when he focuses on defense and scoring. So I'm just putting that out there before anyone says I'm hating. I'm just giving my opinion. Um, The organization before the season said that they were trying to get Drew Holiday, the MVP, and these awards. Uh, while you had Brandon Ingram seeing all that, listening, and uh, putting in work. Because I'm sure that Brandon Ingram was telling himself, What about me? Instead of any fanfare or anything else from the organization. Brandon Ingram put in that work and that's why he became an all-star. It doesn't stop there with Drew. Look at how the Pelicans feel about the other younger players like um, Frank Jackson, uh, Naw, aka Nikhil, Alexander Walker. They rave about their games even though they're not finished products. They're pretty much flash in a pan. They'll show you some good highlights here and there when things are going well. But like you saw in earlier in the season when there was some uh, tough moments and some adverse situations, they, they couldn't handle it. And uh, Nikhil had to go to the G League for a little bit to get that rhythm back. Uh, Frank Jackson sticked on to the roster but played limited minutes so you saw it then do the Pelicans have the draft capital to get LaMelo Ball of course but I truly feel that they're not trying to draft LaMelo Ball at all in my opinion they need to get a stretch five Uh, someone who can defend multiple positions at the post position that can shoot threes uh, three and D player of course that's who I would want them to get you have to remember let's say they trade a lot of players and picks and I don't imagine them trading Drew I just don't see it and they get LaMelo So you want LaMelo to play off the bench? I definitely don't want to see that. I'd rather him go to the Knicks than to see that. that, You know it's bad when I say the Knicks after they hired Tom Thibodeau that plays everybody max minutes to to the 10th degree. Or the Detroit Pistons, which is a good fit for LaMelo. Um, you put LaMelo on that team and I made videos on this that's an automatic playoff team you got Blake Griffin you got Luke Kennard who's a marksman shooter Swee marksman shooter D. Rose to come off the bench Uh, Sekou who is a promising young player who reminds me of Siakam from Toronto and you have a veteran coach in Dwayne Casey who has taken teams to the playoffs. So you have a lot working there. That's the team I would love to see LaMelo go to. I know a lot of people don't like 
uh, the option of LaMelo playing for the Warriors. But if there's any team that I don't mind him coming off the bench, it's the Warriors. You talk about a team that has a lot of their starters in the early 30s. And so they're getting up there in age. And uh, they usually give their six men a lot of minutes, almost like starter minutes. So if there's any team that LaMelo can come off the bench and I'm not, and I'm cool with it, it's the Warriors. It's not the Pelicans or any other of those teams. I just don't see LaMelo going to the Warriors. The ball camp doesn't want to go there, I don't believe. And uh, Steve Kerr has beef for LaVar. So you know that's not going to work. So I'm going to give a total breakdown of, of the teams I think will have a chance to draft LaMelo Ball. The Knicks, the Pistons, and then there will be a surprise team. It won't be the Pelicans. I think there's a surprise team that no one is reporting on that if they're close enough to make a deal, they'll trade some assets to get him. Trust me, there's a surprise team. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, it's going to be interesting when a lottery happens, especially when the draft happens. Teams may make moves when the lottery starts and then they make, make, may make moves when the draft starts. I don't know. Uh, you know how the N- NBA is. They want theatrics, of course. But I'm telling you, that draft lottery is going to have a lot of ratings. Because we all want to know who wants, who's going to have the first pick. I hope it's not the Warriors, since they're undecisive and they truly want to trade a pick. I don't believe in giving teams number one picks that want to trade it. Uh, I truly believe the teams that should get the number one picks are those who understand who they want. They have a losing record, of course, but they understand who they want to get. They're not undecisive. To go back to the Pelicans, um, their draft history is pretty lethargic. Look what they did last year. So they had the number one pick and the number four pick. They could have easily did this. After they got Zion, when they traded the fourth pick for the eighth and 17th pick, And then they had a second round pick. At number eight, they could have got Cam Reddish. At number 17, they could have got Brandon Clark from Memphis, who's doing well. And then the 31st, 32nd pick, they could have got Bo Bo. And remember, Bo Bo was picked 44th. The Pelicans would have hit all their weaknesses in one draft. But here's their problem. They were so happy that they got Zion, they got fancy. I heard some dumb like uh, David Griffin deserves uh, what GM or executive of the year. No way. He stockpiled the team with guards. Uh, they do not have enough legitimate postmen, and they're missing an extra backup wing that can do spot duty at the three position, especially when guarding bigger forwards. Uh, The brother missed on everything but Zion. So that should tell you in itself how they draft. It's funny, the Pelicans do trading better than drafting. (laughs) They can trade with the best of them. But man, they cannot drive at all. The, the Zion pick was the easiest pick they ever did, as well as AD back in 2012. But yeah, I would like to see the Ball Brothers on the same team at some point, but I just don't think it's with the Pelicans. If they ever play on the same team, it's going to be a team that we didn't even talk about, probably. But just stating my opinion, all praise to the Most High. 
Peace and love to everybody. Have a good day.